Right. Uh, well, you know what? They are sure to be the hottest item this holiday season, and we are talking tablet computers. If you don't already have one. <laughs> if you're hoping to get one or give one, you may be thinking iPad. But Apple is not the only game in town. Dave Melkoff puts three tablets to the tech test. Okay, here's the three that we're looking at. The Acer Iconia, the 4G HTC Jetstream, and of course, the Apple iPad 2. Now, when it comes to size, no question about it, Apple's iPad 2 is the thinnest. Razor thin at about a third of an inch wide. It's also about 1.3 pounds, so it's the lightest. It's not the fastest, though, either on the internet or processor speed. Let's take a look at those. Power. If you have a better chip at the heart of your tablet, apps will run faster. Now, all three have dual-core processors, but the Jetstream's chip is a little faster and gets the prize here. Now, inside a yogurt place, inside a coffee shop or your home, all three of these will get you great internet access. But what happens when you open the door, you walk out of that Wi-Fi hotspot? Which one of these will get you the fastest internet access? you may be surprised. In our test, no question about it, the HTC Jetstream had more than double the downloading power of the iPad 2 or the Iconia, because at AT&T at least, the Jetstream is the only tablet on the newest, fastest 4G LTE network. Check with other cell phone companies to see their 4G tablets. Now what do you say we talk about value for all this park bench convenience you got here? That Acer Iconia is in the $300 range. The comparable Apple iPad 2 is in the $600 range. And here at AT&T, that Jetstream, the speedy one from HTC, is in the $700 range. But don't be fooled by that out-the-door price. There's more to it. Touch and swipe. Using the web anywhere means there's a monthly bill. Think of it like a parking meter. You know how you pay for a certain amount of parking, but if you go over that, even by the slightest bit, you get a huge penalty. Many 3G and 4G plans sound enticing. 15 bucks a month for 250 megabytes? But what does that mean? Well, if you're downloading 63 songs per month, watching 50 YouTube clips, listening to nine hours of Pandora, or watching just one movie on Netflix, You've already gone over your limit for the month. Then you will be charged, so it's really important that customers know what their plan is. It's important that they get on the correct plan so that that wouldn't happen. If you missed any of that, you can go to ktla.com slash Dave. We'll break down all the information we talked about right here. From Burbank, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Simple as that. There it is. We are less than two days away from Thanksgiving dinner. But